Oh, didn't see you there. Hi. You will hear my husband this entire video and I'm so sorry about it. Hey everyone, it's Dang Mel. Can we just skip the where I've been? I have a job that's not YouTube. YouTube does not give me any income. I make YouTube videos for fun. I tried the route of making videos to make money and I wasn't having fun when I was doing that. So I just took a real break. And now being in quarantine makes me wanna film. So that's why I'm here. I'm drinking a Bloody Mary. It's my husband's birthday. He's in the other room playing video games, yelling. <laughs> so I will be, do you hear that? So I guess I'll give you a little update. Nothing really new has changed, but things will be changing potentially. Also, do you love that I put a candle in the background like all the other cool YouTubers do? I'm still flying. Still living in LA right now. Oh, what does that mean? Well, I'll tell you. We still have Jack. And you guys, you're on a tripod with a ring light. Like I'm ready to do YouTube. Seth and I, Seth's my husband, we're thinking of moving to Charlotte, North Carolina. Pretty much 90% sure. We just can't afford LA and we have no reason to be here except that we love LA, which is a reason, but we just can't afford it and we live paycheck to paycheck and it's really stressful and we can get so much more for our money if we move to a different city and we have um, friends there and it's not too far away from where we used to live so that's what we're thinking. I've been vegan for a year today. No wait, tomorrow. I'm be vegan for a year tomorrow. I've been wanting to make like what I eat in a day videos but without like a tripod and a camera and stuff it's just so hard and I just get so discouraged so if you guys do want to see that let me know. I'm here today to talk about my skin journey because it has been exactly that a journey. If you've been a long time watcher, big time fan, I did make a video of how I thought I cured my skin. And I have just struggled with adult acne for literally all of my adulthood. I'm 28 now. You know what sucks? I wanted to film this video and I was like, oh, I'll just wait a few days. And then I got like three pimples. But I have really struggled with my skin. And I finally, fingers crossed, found something that has helped. If you are a person that has tried literally everything, except Accutane, that's the only thing I really haven't tried. I have tried coconut oil, I have tried tea tree oil, I have tried every face wash that you could possibly tell me about. I have tried drinking more water. I have tried not stressing. I have cut out dairy, obviously. I was, I'm vegan, like I don't eat dairy. Um, I have tried spironolactone pills. I have tried literally everything that you would tell me I have tried. And little did I know, all that I needed was something that was at Target because Target never steer, steer, steers us wrong. Am I right, ladies? What is that thing? Let's get into it. So let's start in October 2019. My skin, that's six months being vegan. So, you know, when people say that when you go vegan, your skin like purges out all like the dairy that you had in your system for 28 years of your life, it purges it out. So I was like, okay, my skin's gonna purge. And then all my friends that were vegan and all the YouTubers told me that my skin should be like perfectly clear at six months. This is what my skin looked like at six months. I was so defeated. Like if you've had acne like this, you know that it is just so debilitating to even go outside because it sucks because it's a catch 22. You don't want to wear makeup so your skin is clear, but not wearing makeup, you get stares. And then this is how my skin is now. What? I started this product, I think in October. No. October, a month after October, September, October, November, maybe, I don't know. I started this product and I, I'm shook 
that I've walked past it in Target so many times and I've been like, that won't work for me. I'm not even gonna try it. And then I finally tried it. If you wanna know what it is, I'll tell you what it is. What if it was like an MLM? I'm like, Rodan and Fields, please order from me. I can make a whole video about freaking MLMs if you want me to. The product is different gel. If you've tried it and it didn't work for you, you just clicked off. And I'm so sorry it didn't work. I know firsthand how discouraging it can be when something doesn't work that works for everyone. Oh my God, it's so discouraging. I cannot believe this works for me. Right now, I only have a tinted moisturizer on and you can see that it's mostly just texture and acne scars. Like I, like I said, I have this um, acne and this, and then this one's healing. But you see right here, it's just like texture. It's all just flat though. So now I'm just working on acne scars. But holy crap, you guys, I am so happy. Like, oh, by the way, I'm off birth control. So that's when my skin really started hit, like hitting the fan. It just got so bad. My hormones were all whacked up. So I thought I had to take a pill for something. So that's when I was on spironolactone and that messed my periods up so much. And so then I just tried this and it worked and I'm shook. If you have never tried it, I recommend. And then I'm going to show you other products that I really think have helped my skin. Should I have done the disclaimer that I'm not a dermatologist? Like, do I actually have to make myself clear with that? If these work for you, great. If they don't, I'm so sorry. Something will work for you eventually. My holy grail face wash is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Oh my God, it leaves your skin so plump because this is super drying. So you wanna use products that are super, super hydrating, have the word hydrating in it. And we all know CeraVe, it is developed by a dermatologist. So it's just simple, clean ingredients, nothing like frou-frou or anything in it. So yeah, this is really good. So to take my makeup off before I wash my face, I love a balm. So I've been using the Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil Balm. It has antioxidant rich green tea and green tea is really good for your skin. But the best one is the Physician's Formula, the Perfect Matcha. Oh my God, this is, it leaves your skin so soft. So I take my makeup off and my eye makeup off with this and then I rinse with warm water, wash my face, rinse with warm water. Then what I do is I use paper towels, which definitely is not environmentally friendly, which I obviously need to work, need to work on that because I'm vegan. I can't be a hypocrite. But I pat my skin with paper towels because the thought of using like the same towel every couple days just really freaks me out about bacteria and my skin is really sensitive. So I just don't do that. Then I use an eye cream, which I forgot to grab it, but like the CeraVe, I'll put a picture. CeraVe eye, eye repair cream or something underneath, or this brand from Target is really good. It's the Nourish Organic Eye Treatment. I'm really, it's avocado and argon. Then my tried and true, cause like we said, cause then you put on the different gel and you only do like a pea size amount. Then you use the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. It's like a super moisturizing, thick night cream that is just so, what did that do? I'm like trying to be a good beauty guru. It is so moisturizing because like I said, this leaves you really dry. So to combat that, you need super hydrating things that you won't even notice to dry. So that's literally all I've been using so far right now. A special mention if I'm feeling a little frisky. I haven't used it in a while, but the Ordinary um, Red Chemical Peel is really nice. I'm just scared to use it because of using different at the same time. I will just use this my whole life. I won't do any fun face masks. But if I do, I use the Mask of Magna Minty from Lush. I just trust Lush a lot because of how natural it is and calming and stuff. I've missed you guys. I want to make more videos. I want to make like a what did I eat in a day if you guys would be interested, what I do, day routine during quarantine. <laughs> I don't know, anything you guys wanna know. I just thought I would update you on my skin because a lot of people on my Instagram, which if you don't follow me, it's right here. I post obviously way, way more on there than here. But yeah, a lot of people were asking me about it. So I just thought I'd put it all in a video. I just wanna leave you with, if you're feeling discouraged, look at this, look at this, it's iconic. 
I'm just, I just, I'm just so happy. Like one of my 2020 goals was to like finally fix my skin and the fact that I've done it, I think I'm like so scared to say that because I got like three pimples and I'm freaking out, but you know, it is what it is. It's definitely better than what it was. So yeah, I love you guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying home if you can. I'm an essential worker, so I have to go to work, but I'm being safe when I go and I hope you guys are being safe. I just wanna leave you with this. No one wants to be inside. I am an extrovert. I wanna go out with my friends and have margaritas or go to the movies or go shopping and stuff, but we can't do that right now. And wouldn't you rather suck it up and stay home then have to face this going into the summer or even like halloween christmas time i could stay on my soapbox forever and talk about this but anyways love you guys stay safe and i'll see you next time bye